Welcome back. Thanks for coming. And uh, here today we are going to go over binary numbers. And I want to cover this, uh, so hopefully it'll be real brief. I know it's out of order in comparison to what I was showing before, but uh, disregarding the order, I just want to throw these things out there. Um, so, or throw this one out there because uh, somebody may question what binary is. So, Binary is base 2. Uh, we work with base 10 um, in your standard number system, which is 1 through 10. Um, technically, it's 0 through 9. But anyway, binary is base 2. So it's a base 2 numbering system, meaning that the only things that are in this uh, numbering system is 0, and one. That's it. There's no two, three, four, five. And I'll explain as, uh, the reason why that is as we move along here. So in computers, a zero is typically a low, or not typically, it's a low. And I guess you could say by if you were to search binary numbers and look at what the definitions are, low is typically zero volts. And this is going to follow the same suit with uh, one. One is considered a high, it's a high value, and it's tip. It's referenced as five volts. Now, you're going to see. Uh, let's say if you know if you understand computers and you see that your RAM is running at three point three volts, well, then that three point three volts would be your high voltage. Uh, just to clarify that portion of it. So knowing that our base two system is running on zeros and ones, how do we count numbers? Well, I'm going to write out here, uh, and it's backwards than what you're used to. Instead of it writing from uh, left to right, I'm going to write left or right to left. Uh, so we're going to start off with, these are going to be considered bits. So bit one, location one. Uh, first location, the next one will be 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I'm going to go into multiples of 2 now. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. The next one is 1024. And then the next one after that would be 2048. And we're going to stop right there. So I'm just going to leave it out to here. I'm not going to continue on. But what I want to explain here is that this using having these numbers here will help you determine your binary number into um, base 10. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm just going to write some binary numbers in here. And I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm only going to go to 128. So for that consideration, I'm just going to leave these ones at zero. So this is saying that this placeholder is placing at zero, zero value. So we're going to say there's one 128, there's 164, there's zero 32s, there is a 16, there is no 8, there's a 4, there's a 2, and a zero. All right. So here we have a binary string. All right. And I'm going to convert this binary string to decimal. And to do so, we're just going to basically look at this and say, well, I have no 2048. So I'm not going to write that down. I have no 1024. I have no 512. I have no um, 256 but I have a 128. So I'm going to say I have a 128. I have a 64. I have no 32s. I have a 16. I have no 8s. I have a 4. And I have a 2. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add these numbers together. So adding that number comes out to 2014, or 214, sorry. And that's base 10 decimal. So that's your decimal value. So the decimal value of the binary number one one zero 
one zero one one zero B. Now I'm going to locate, put a B here because this will de defines the fact that this is a number and it's a binary number. You'll either see it with a B or you'll see it as like bin. Uh, so that's just referring to as binary number. Typically your decimal numbers would just be des or your number. Uh, so that's a real qu quick, quick, sorry, representation of binary numbers. Now, to represent this, uh, if you want to, if we uh, go and count to, uh, I'm going to count to 15 now. I'm going to clear this information. And I'm also going to clear this information out. So if you haven't written it down, pause it, rewind a little bit, and write that information down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to write 0 to 15. All right. And this, will, this is decimal. Sorry. All right. So drawing this out in, in a nibble will be four bits. So this is zero, 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 zero. And then one. Now what I want you to pay attention to as I write this down, you're going to basically be watching um, bits shift. And that's pretty much what we're all we're doing when we're dealing with binaries, you're shifting ones. So the next one is zero, 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 one, because this is the ones location. And let's do this. I'm actually going to erase this binary here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write up here what the names of the bit locations are. We have one, two, four, and eight. So then two, we'd have no eights, no fours. We'd have a two and we'd have a zero for one. Three, zero, zero, one. Whoops, forgive me, that needs to be a one. All right, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 0, 1, 1, 12, 13, 13, uh, 13, something's not right. This is supposed to be a 0, sorry. This is 13. So 12 is 1, 1, 0, 0. 13 is 1101, 14 is 1110, and 15 is all ones. All right, and we can go back and we can take our numbers. We can say that we have 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 15. So we have 8 and 4 is 12, 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So that's how that equates out to 15. So if you notice here how we're shifting the ones, we take the one right here and we shift it to the two position, we put a zero in place. We add a one and so now we have three. Now we're gonna shift, kind of shift, but we're adding, a, we're not really shifting, I guess you'd say we're, we're setting these to zero and we're carrying to one so for a four. Then we add a one and we shift that one one more over, and we shift another one over, and we add eight. So if we add one more to this, we have to bring the carry and put these back to zero, so we have a one. And we do the same thing all over again, counting up to, to 15. So it's not really shifting the ones, but if you, if you watch it, you can see how it's actually doing. If I had LEDs set up to actually do a count from zero to 15, you could actually watch that. And if it was done slow enough, you could actually sit there and watch your one 
as they as they uh, illuminate. So that is about as far as I'm going to cover on this. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and leave them there. If anybody knows, I'm sure there's better ways of portraying this. Um, I haven't actually sat down and taught or tutored anybody on this, but uh, in a long time, because most, uh, most of the time I deal with hexadecimal. Um, converting binary to, to hex, uh, not so much the decimal portion of it, but uh, maybe I'll cover that in another episode, cover uh, the conversion from binary to hex. Um, there are further stuff where you have to do binary arithmetic, and uh, that's that might be another thing I'll cover down the road too. Uh, We'll see, because that's that's getting into a little more complicated. Mean, it's not that it's complicated. You just got to pay close attention to what you're doing. Uh, but you can always check your work, especially if you write out your bit positions. And always remember that the it starts from right to left versus left to right for your bit positions. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, thumbs down is fine too. Um, if you have any questions or, uh, what you, what you might think, uh, might be some other subject that I could actually do for you. That'd be great too. I am planning on doing, like I said, I'm going to think about doing one in hex too. So that way you can, you can see the conversion between binary to hexadecimal. Cause typically when you're working with computers, you're going to see a lot of, uh, ones and zeros. And it's a heck of a lot easier to convert that to hex and under and see the hex um, version of that. At one point in time, I actually had a spreadsheet group um, for 32 bits and converted that to hexadecimal because it was just a lot easier. Actually, I'm sorry, it was a 32 or 64. It might have been 64. So, uh, and don't have that. But I could actually make another one. It's not. It wasn't that it was that complicated. But, uh, yeah. So I, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming again, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right. See ya.